we are today we are talking about the biodiversity and in the biodiversity we have uh, the syllabus which is uh, given you that is the definition genetic diversity species diversity ecosystem diversity and uh, we have to study about the biographical classification of india and the value of biodiversity in which the conjunctive value productive use social value ethical value aesthetic value and option value has to be studied at first we have to define the biodiversity the term biological diversity was introduced by more and macon in the year 1980 and the word bird diversity was used first time in the world by, by the rosen in 1985 biodiversity refers to the diversity and variability among all the organism and in the ecosystem found in the entire world biodiversity refers to the wide variety of the life on the earth all the plants animals and microorganism and their various species and the various ecosystem that they live in in simple words biodiversity is the sum of the total of all species in the world International Union for the Conservation of Nature and Natural Resources (UCN) and the United Nations of the Environmental Program (UNEP) 1992 defined biodiversity as the totality of the genes, species, and ecosystems in a given region in the world. In the Convention of the Biological Diversity (1992). biodiversity has been defined as the variability among living organism from all sources including terrestrial marine and other aquatic ecosystem and the ecological complexes which they are a part the term biodiversity refers to the all type of the species populations communities and the ecosystems present in specific area or entire earth biodiversity may also be defined as the diversity and the variability among the living organism and the habitats in which they live the estimated number of a plant animal or the microorganism species on earth is about 10 to 50 million out of this only 1.5 million have been identified to date out of the 1.5 million identified species about the 7 50000 are insect species and 2 lakh 50000 are the plants and 40000 are vertebrates and approximately 1 lakh are fungi and the others are invertebrates and the microorganism the levels of the biodiversity the levels of the biodiversity is a combination of the genetic biodiversity species biodiversity and the ecosystem diversity hence the biodiversity typically considered at the three levels genetic diversity species diversity ecosystem diversity the genetic diversity are now we going to about the study the living organism have genes in their cells gene contain the basic instruction for the development of the organism genes affect the physical characteristics which affect the manner in which organism interact with their environment variation in such features within the same species give rise to the genetic diversity a significant level of variation must be present for a species to adapt to changing environmental conditions it is the diversity within the species due to the differences in the genetic structure the gene found in the organism can for enormous number of combination each of which give rise to some variability variation in the genetic content alters the shape size and appearance of different individual the species with the higher genetic diversity are capable and adapting easily to the changes in the environmental condition genetic diversity culminates in the evolution of the new species Variation in the genetic material is essential for the evolution. Without genetic diversity, a population cannot evolve in response to the changing environmental condition and will face the risk of the extinction. For example, if a population is exposed to a new disease, the survival will depend on the genes towards the resistance of the disease. If such genes are not present, the entire may be wiped out of the disease. Domestic species. 
of have low levels of the genetic diversity because only few species are selected for this purpose. A new virus or a bacteria can attack a population of nearly identi identical organism very rapidly. Thus, the genetic diversity generally offers protection from disease which is lost in preferential breeding of the crops and animals. Genetic diversity in the banana are shown in the figure. Different type of the banana are shown in the figure. We can see the figure and identify the genetic diversity of the banana. Genetic diversity in the banana have shown in the figure. We can identify the genetic diversity of the banana in the figure. Genetic diversity in the beans have been shown in the figure. We can identify the genetic diversity of the beans here in the figure. Genetic diversity of the beans are shown in the different flowers of the beans. We can identify the genetic diversity of the beans here. Genetic diversity of the rice is shown in the figure. Different type of the rice based on the genetic diversity is shown in the figure. Genetic diversity of the rice has been shown in the figure. Different type of the rice with the genetic diversity have been shown in the figure. Genetic diversity of the weight is shown in the figure. We can identify the different types of the weight on the base of the genetic biodiversity. Genetic diversity of the corn is shown in the figure. We can identify the corn on the base of the genetic diversity. Genetic diversity in plutonia is shown in the figure by showing the different type of the flowers and different type of the colors of the plutonia shows the genetic biodiversity of the plutonia. By showing the different type of the rose, we can see the genetic biodiversity in the rose. Different type of the colors, different type of the shape of the rose shows the genetic diversity of the rose. Genetic diversity of the dogs have been shown in the figure. Different type of the dogs, different type of the shapes and different types of the dogs have been shown in the figure. Genetic diversity in the dogs have been shown in the figure. Different type of the dogs have the different genetic biodiversity and uh, we can identify the dogs based on the genetic biodiversity. Now we come to the species diversity. The number of species of of plants and animals that are present in a region constitute its species diversity. It represents the species richness and the abundance of the community. It includes all the species on this planet form of the microorganism, viruses, bacteria and protists, plants and animals. Richer the species, greater will be the species diversity. For example, Patharnia leopersia, line, Panthea yo, son, son, leopard, and Panthea tigris, tigress belong to the same genera, but all are from the different species. Plant and animal biodiversity is about 6.5 percent of the world species. Species diversity have been given in the example. It is the diversity within an ecosystem that includes the number of species in a community and the relative abundance of the species. Communities with the more species are considered to be the more diverse. Evenness measure and variation in the awareness of the individual or species within a community. Community with the greater evenness to be considered to have a greater species diversity. Species richness, number of species per unit area. Species evenness, evenness of individual in a species. Species biodiversity are shown here. A great variety is found in the microorganism including alga, bacteria, fungi, protozoa and viruses which are vital to the life of the earth. At the ecosystem level, the greatest biomass in the soil is the microorganism, especially fungi. These maintain soil structure and composition by degrading dead plant and animal remains. Hence, the loss of the microorganism can lead to the major changes in the ecosystem. Ecosystem biodiversity. Ecosystem biodiversity is the diversity of the different ecosystem which includes biotic and abiotic component. Ecosystem may be natural like ponds, grassland, forests, deserts, oceans or artificial such as agricultural fields, artificial lakes or dams. 
every ecosystem has particular composition of species and ecological conditions. There are a large variety of the different ecosystem on earth which have their own component of distinct interlinked species based on the differences in the habitat. Ecosystem diversity can be described for a specific geographical region or a country or a state or a district. Typical ecosystem include landscapes such as forest, grassland, desert, mountain, etc. as well as aquatic ecosystem such as rivers, lakes and the sea. Each region has also also has many modified area such as a farmland or the grazing pastures. Ecosystem biodiversity can be shown here. There are a large factors which can affect the ecological biodiversity. Variation in the tropical structure, food waves, nutrient cycling, physical parameters can also affect the ecological diversity like moisture, temperature, altitude and perception etc. Hence, tremendous tremendous diversity exists within the ecosystem because of a change in these factors. For example, a high degree of diversity is found in forest ecosystem containing a dominance of trees. Too many variations are observed between a tropical rainforest, a tropical DDS forest, a temperature DDS forest and a boreal forest. The ecosystem diversity is of a great value thus may be kept intact. The diversity has developed over millions of years of evolution. If you destroy this diversity, it will disrupt the ecological balance. Conferious trees of boreal forest cannot take up the function of the tree, tropical deciduous forest, lands and vice versa. The enormous range of the terrestrial and acoustic environments on earth has been classified into a number of ecosystems. And following are the examples, tropical rainforests, grasslands, wetlands, coral reefs and the mango groups. Species content within a given ecosystem also vary over time. Some of the world's richest habitat are the tropical most forest. Although they cover only 7 percent of the world's surface, these area contain at least 50 percent of all plant and animal species. Biographical classification of India. India has different type of the climate and topography in different parts of the country and these variations have induced enormous variability in flora, flora and flora. India has a rich heritage of the biological diversity and occupies the 10th position among the plant rich nation of the world. India can be divided into the 10 major regions based on the geography, climate and type of the vegetation and the communities of the mammals, birds, reptiles, amphibians, insects and other animals found. The 10 classification of the biographical classification of India has shown here. Snow covered trans Himalayan region of Ladakh, Himalayan ranges and valley of Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Assam and other northeastern states. Desert area of the Kuch Thar region, semi-arid grassland region of the Central Asia, Gujarat, Western Ghats in Maharashtra, Karnataka and Kerala, Deccan Peninsula consisting of the Deccan Plateau South, Central Eastern, Chota Nagpur and Central Highlands. Genetic and Brahmaputra plains, western and eastern coastal belt with beaches, forest and mangroves, northern states of India, Andaman and Nicobar Island. The 10 Brightful zones of India have been shown here in the figure. Number 1, number 2, number 3, number 4, number 5, number 6, number 7, number 8, number 9 and number 10. 10 Brightful zones have been classified here and shown here, here in the figure. The biographical zones are provenances of the biographical zones have been shown here by the numbers here in the figure of India. The 10 biographical zones of India has also shown here in the figure by showing number 1, number 2, number 3, number 4, number 5, number 6, number 7, number 8, number 9, number 10. Value of the biodiversity, conjunctive use value. There are direct use value where the biodiversity product can be harvested and consumed directly, e.g. fuel, food, drugs, fiber, etc. 
food a large number of wild plants are eaten by the human beings of the food about 80000 edible plant species have been reported from wild about 90% present day food crops have been domesticated from wild tropical plants a large number of the wild animal are also used as a food drugs and medicine about three fourths of the world's population depends upon the plants of the medicine penicillin used as the first antibiotic was derived from a fungus called penicillin similarly we get tetracycline from bacterium quinin organic drug used as a malaria is obtained from the bark of the cinchona tree a variety of the marine animals possess anti cancer property and may provide newer treatment for the cancer conjunctive use value fuel forest have been used for the fuel wood since time immemorial firewood collected by the individual is directly consumed by the tribal and local villagers hence falls under the conjunctive value productive use value commercial commercially usable value where the product is marketed and sold it includes plant products like timber bamboo and can these may be include the animal product like tusk of the elephant musk from the musk deer silk from the silk worm wool from the sheep fur from the animals lark from the lark insect all of which are traded in the market productive use value wild gene resources that can be sold for use by the scientists for introducing desirable traits in the crops and the domesticated animals some of the industries are dependent on the productive use value are the the pulp and paper industry plywood industry silk industry textile industry leather industry pearl industry etc social value these are the value associated with the social value custom religion spiritual aspects of the people many plants are considered scarce in india such as tulsi people mango lotus and bel the leaf fruits or the flower of these plants are used in worship or the plant itself is worshiped the tribal people are very closely linked with the wildlife in the forest many animals like cow snake bull peacock owl etc hold special social importance thus biodiversity has distinct social value attached with the different society ethical value it involves the ethical issues like all life must be preserved it is based on the concept of life and late life for the survival of the human being survive protection of the biodiversity becomes our duty due to human action already a large number of plant and animal species have become extinct passenger pigeon or dodo is no more on this earth we may not derive anything directly from many animals like kangaroo zebra or giraffe but these species should exist in nature there is an ethical value or existence value attached to each species aesthetic value great aesthetic value is attached to the biodiversity no one of us would like to visit vast stretches of the barren lands with no signs of the visible life people far from far wild spend a lot of time and money to visit wilderness areas where they can enjoy the aesthetic value of the biodiversity and this type of tourism is known as the eco tourism eco tourism is estimated to generate about 12 billion dollars of the revenue annually that roughly gives the aesthetic value of the biodiversity option value these value include the potential of the biodiversity that are presently unknown and need to be explored there is possibility that we may have some potential cure for the earth or cancer which may be obtained from a marine animal or a tropical rainforest thus option value is the value of knowing that there are biological resources existing on this biosphere that may be, may one day prove to be an effective option for something important in future ecosystem service value a non conjunctive huge value related to the various important ecosystem services have been recognized it refers to the services provided by the ecosystem like prevention of the soil erosion prevention of the floods maintenance of the food fertility cycling of nutrients fixation of the nitrogen cycling of water their role as a carbon sinks pollutant observation and reduction of the threat of the global warming 
different category of the biodiversity value clearly indicate the ecosystem species and genetic biodiversity all have enormous potential and decline in biodiversity will lead to the huge economical ecological and social cultural cultural losses thank you